That's the sound of a winning rocket and a winning team. The River City Rocketry team, made up of University of Louisville students, has ended Vanderbilt's four-year reign as the number one college rocketry team in the country. Well, we actually ended up coming home with first place, the first time in six years that the team's been alive, uh, and it's been a great feeling to actually get victory. We were just so thrilled because that team of kids, they put so many hours into it and have worked so hard uh, to get that rocket built. The student launch competition took place at NASA's Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. It's a NASA-sponsored competition where you build a high-powered rocket that has an objective to go to one mile and then deploy a payload of some sort. But U of L's team almost didn't make it when their rocket suffered a catastrophic failure during a test flight just a week before the competition. It destroyed a large part of the rocket and ended up causing us to have to rebuild in about a week, but we were able to pull it off, so good news all around, well bad news and then good news. So. <laughs> you know, we face many problems from small to large and uh, our problem solving skills is what helps us achieve the, each solution and that's the one thing that the university is really well at, uh, well at doing is um, giving us the tools to, to do that. The U of L students spent eight months preparing but only a month of it actually building the rocket because most of the scoring for the NASA competition has nothing to do with the rocket or its flight. About 60 percent of the overall score is on documentation um, and then along with that is also the flight and recovery which is about 20 percent of the overall score and then you have uh, the website and educational outreach that is also uh, finishes out the last 20 percent of the overall score so all that combined um, concludes how NASA uh, scores the overall competition. And Compton says they had a blast doing it, taking what they learned in their engineering and physics classes and using it on a rocket building project. And maybe not the last rocket building project for these UofL team members. A lot of people are hoping to work in the space or aerospace industry.